peeps. Today I'm going to be reviewing the fifth and final installment of the Wrong Turn franchise. Alright, so as I said in my first review, which you should have seen first, um, I only have the first four Wrong Turn movies. I do not own the fifth. I am planning on getting it on Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, so I will definitely be looking forward to that for a cheaper price, because I do not want to pay $20 for that piece of crap, but we'll get more into that later, but yeah, so this review is on Wrong Turn 5. Wrong Turn 5 Bloodlines is what the film is called. I kind of forgot the title a little bit there, because it's the only title, the only Wrong Turn movie I don't have, so I don't remember the title, but it's called Wrong Turn 5 Bloodlines. Now, this movie came out last year, 2012, in October. So, this movie and came out a year less than the fourth one did. I was like, wow, that was fast. They already made a fifth one. But, yeah, these two, the uh, Wrong Turn 4 and 5 just came out randomly. I was like, wow, they already made two in, like, not even a year. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, so, let's go ahead and get started. Jesus Christ! So this film, I believe, is the second prequel to the first three Wrong Turn films. So basically, it's a sequel to the prequel of the first three Wrong Turn films, and it's the second prequel to the... I don't know, it's kind of confusing what they did here, but... Um, yeah, it is called Wrong Turn 5 Bloodlines, I already mentioned that, and let's talk about the plot. Now, of course, this film came out in October, so this film is centered on the Halloween theme. It takes place at a Halloween party, a group of stupid-ass teenagers, again, drinking, having fun, doing what they're not supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, I, I, again, I've only seen this once, I do not remember much from it, but, uh, shh. Yeah, it's a Halloween party, I believe, and it takes place in a town, and I think the cannibals just, like, take over the town, kind of, I guess. I don't really remember much from this, to be honest, but, yeah, so, uh, it, Three Fingers, uh, he's, again, he's in here, but I think this film shows the worst makeup effect. This is, they look so incredibly fake, it, it looks like a guy in a mask, like, it, it's bad, but... Um, the gore and blood effects and the kills and whatnot were still really good in here, but they're not the goriest and, again, not the best, but they're pretty good, I guess. Um, yeah. And, of course, the acting's pretty bad, but... So, Wrong Turn 5, I do gotta say, it is the second worst of the Wrong Turn series. Right behind Wrong Turn 3, which I think was a little bit worse, but this one was also pretty bad. Um... I kind of enjoyed it, but it just it didn't feel like a wrong turn movie, man. It did not feel like a wrong turn movie. It felt more like a... I don't know, man. This, But this one was kind of a weird installment. It came like a year before the other one did. I don't know. Yeah, but being the second worst of this series, I would probably give Wrong Turn 5, just like I give Wrong Turn 3, a 2.5 out of 5 star rating. Um, it was okay. I guess I enjoyed it. It was just it was not good. I didn't I don't know man. This one was it was mediocre, but yeah, these so uh this and wrong turn three are the worst of the series and uh wrong turn two and wrong turn four are the best, but I highly suggest you see this one. This is by far the best of the series. But yeah, and then the uh, first is pretty good too, but it's in the middle. But yeah, so there you have it. Um Holy crap, I finished the entire Wrong Turn franchise review, so yay! Yes, I finally finished all the Wrong Turn movie reviews. Uh, thank you guys for sp taking your time watching these reviews. Um, Wrong Turn is definitely one of the best recent modern horror movie franchise I've ever seen, so definitely check this series out. Really, really cool movies, uh, especially the second. But yeah, so, there you go. There's my opinion on the Wrong Turn movies. Um, yeah, that's it. Please subscribe for more reviews and whatnot. Please uh, leave a suggestion on what movie series or movies I should review next, and I will see you guys later.